So Disney. Well, Disney is a whole thing. Disney World is a whole thing. It was my first time. It was a day. <laughs> it was a magical day. Yeah, Savannah said it was the best day of her life. I believe it. Here's the thing about Disney. You make it magical. Right? Yeah. Did we make it magical? I think we made it magical. Okay. choice for mm -hmm. our first time at Walt Disney World. Mm -hmm. Shereen wanted to do them all. I did. So we had to pull her kind of expectations back. Not next time though. Yeah, she's already planning the next trip, but that's a whole nother thing. But yeah, <laughs> so we picked one, we went to Magic Kingdom. We're not going to get into the logistics of the actual like realities of vacationing at Walt Disney World. We're just going to skip past all of that and pull out all of the good things. We had some epic fails. <laughs> yeah. She got the Disney bug Definitely. and I did not expect that from Serena. She's been researching stuff to other parks ever since we've come back. She has been planning the next trip. It's just that the whole like the wholeness of Disney just captivates The you. wholeness? The wholeness. <laughs> okay. It's captivating. All I could think about despite the heat, despite you know, trying to work our way through the lines and all I could think about the entire time was, wow, like this all started with a mouse. Yeah. I do anything like this um, I try to tie it into homeschool life as much as possible so um, y'all know that a unit study is coming up on Mr. Walt Disney of course, of course. <laughs> it's a whole thing <laughs> It is magical, like when you set aside the realities of the heat and the planning and the money and you know the logistics. Uh, you are really the one that makes it magical. It's what you bring to it that brings it alive. Mm -hmm. And I think that I have been doing all the research on all the documentaries and things like that so that I can pull together a little um, unit for our homeschool. And I think that the more I, I just become more and more engrossed with the idea and how it grew and where it grew from. And now, here is Walt Disney. This is where the early planning is taking place for our so-called uh, Disney World Project. Now, the purpose of this film is to bring you up to date about some of the plans for Disney World. I think the thing that I learned the most um, from watching a lot of those documentaries and things in preparation for our unit study was how captivated um, he was mm -hmm. by his ideas and how much he did or what he implemented to protect yeah. those ideas. <clears throat> we've been having a lot of conversations about Walt Disney since we've come back. <laughs> Mr. Walt Disney, yeah. Mr. Disney. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to get into those units and study that more, but more than that, I am so excited to go back. The 
kids enjoyed it. Savannah, I would say, probably enjoyed it the most. I think the reason why it really captivates me, the whole idea of you making it magical, is because I think that is what I try to embody in our homeschool. I have said this many times before about always striving to be Mary Poppins. Um, the teacher that teaches with imagination and joy, but also um, a lot of structure and firmness. And I always uh, whisper to myself, be Mary Poppins, you are Mary Poppins. So mm -hmm. um, I think that everything Walt Disney kind of screams mm -hmm. that to me, um, kind of says that you are the one who makes this thing magical. Mm -hmm. You are the one that sets the scene and does the little things um, that make it exciting. You see, in every job that must be done, there is an element of fun. You find the fun and snap, the job's a game. And every task you undertake becomes a piece of cake, a lark, a spree, it's very clear to see. So what was your favorite part of the park, the actual park? I think overall just seeing the park as a whole and seeing how massive it yeah. was, was insanely magical mm -hmm. to me. Um, but looking at it as a whole, just seeing all of the tiny details mm -hmm. everywhere was a big deal mm -hmm. for me. And then... Um, I think if I had to pick like an experience, which we didn't get to ride mm -hmm. all of the rides, no. um, we didn't get to go to all of the parts, we didn't get to experience all of the shows, so I can't really pick an like absolute favorite favorite, mm -hmm. um, but out of what we did, I think I really, really, really enjoyed um, the Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse. <laughs> And how they do, they pay attention to every little detail. Yeah, and you yeah. can, I mean, everywhere you turn, everywhere you look, you see this was like the makings of visionaries. Mm -hmm. And um, just being surrounded by that and having the kids surrounded by that. Mm -hmm. And of course, this just could have been a regular like amusement park type mm -hmm. of experience. But for me and the way that I'm very extra and very mm -hmm. lofty in my thought mm -hmm. and, you know, imagination, I try to... Um, impress that upon the kids. Mm -hmm. I just would whisper to them along the way mm -hmm. throughout the day, just little things, just reminding mm -hmm. them uh, that it did. It all started with a mouse. Mm -hmm. At least that's what Walt Disney said. Yeah. <laughs> he said, let's not forget it mm -hmm. all started with a mouse. was when Savannah met Ariel. Mm -hmm. It was like insanely, it is going to be etched in my little memory bank in my heart for like ever. <laughs> Oh, thank you, sweet girl. 
So they went in the ride and I, I wasn't in there with her, but she ran out and she was just yelling, she's real, she's real, she's real. So which was strange because she's never seen the movie before. You know? And I think that, you know, I think there's like really something to say about that because all along she sees this um, character and she imagines these things mm -hmm. based on um, this character and when she had that moment when she realized that that character and that imagination then translated into mm -hmm. something that was real mm -hmm. life I think that's something to be said about that and yeah. that's what I want the kids to um, really just kind of embody and just engage in in, in spending as much time as possible just increasing their capacity yeah. to imagine yeah. and imagine big And we're going back. <laughs> we're going back. For more than one park. Okay. Yes. So Disney, if you ever see this, we want to come back. <laughs> we want to come back. <laughs> it's also really cool to see in the park the different parts and pieces that take you back to the past, but even more so to the future. Just to really be able to see how much of a visionary mm -hmm. he was and how massive, you know, the things that can come from mm -hmm. one simple thought mm -hmm. in your imagination. From the earliest days, Disney had pushed the boundaries of what was possible in feature-length animation. Snow White invented the genre, telling a complete story for the first time. This is the first time me being there uh, with kind of experience all the different resources they have to make it oh, yeah. a better experience from the app. So Serena had everything planned out as far as what rides we were going to do in what order and then they have the wait times and everything. And they're all built for, like you said, to yeah. enhance your experience. Yeah. So even with the wait times yeah. and being able to connect with games so mm -hmm. that you can actually play the games yeah. that are associated with the rides that you're getting ready to. Then there were songs yeah, that you can play, like play in the, while you're waiting. Yeah. It was just really Really cool. And you guys probably we already know all this yeah. stuff. This is just a story from from yeah. our first time yeah. or our, our first family experience in Disney. I really loved um, seeing the boys meet Tiana. We basically went on the princess tour for Savannah and the boys were, yeah. you know, they just watched her from behind and yeah. they would smile when she would meet the princesses and then we yeah. got to Tiana and oh my gosh, she was so like charismatic. It was yeah. my favorite princess. Well, that, Tiana and Ariel. It yeah. was my favorite, one of my favorite princesses um, for them to meet. My biggest takeaway is just to continue on with um, how we do things in homeschool, making everything extra 
and making everything as magical as possible. Mm -hmm. So it's what we bring to the table um, that matters. And I think that was a huge reminder mm -hmm. um, for me that I'm moving in the right direction mm -hmm. because I can get discouraged sometimes thinking that, you know, Serena, let's keep things as simple mm -hmm. as possible in homeschool, but why? Mm -hmm. <laughs> why? Um, you can keep things simple, but imagine really big at the same time and yeah. that's the space that I'm kind of always trying to um, be in so yes thanks Disney yeah something simple but daring too oh just leave it to me what a gown this will be And then there was the... The fireworks. The fireworks. Fireworks. <laughs> fireworks. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen her that excited before. She absolutely loved uh, the fireworks. And Kendall was mesmerized. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it yeah. was like, what is happening right yeah. now in my yeah. life? It was... I don't know, I think it just ignites uh, a piece inside of you that pulls you out of reality yeah. into this realm that says, oh my gosh, yeah. anything is possible. <laughs> For that y'all know I'm always thinking about the like behind the scenes because the whole time I'm thinking to myself like who is making all this yeah. happen like yeah. who orchestrated this who pulled it all together like all I can do is think about those people behind the scene that you yeah. do not see on a daily basis so that made me happy yeah. and it was it was really um we got good memories from it yeah us maybe we have not so much but, that's the, <laughs> but we don't have to talk about but that <laughs> that's a whole other story but that's the job as parents mm -hmm. to make it as magical as yeah. possible despite life's challenges mm -hmm. so Walt Disney actually has a um, quote that's that I love that you never hear other people mention but he said life is composed of light and shadows and we would be untruthful insincere and sacred if we try to pretend there were no shadows. Mm -hmm. And I love that yeah. so much because he was this person who um, imagined all these wonderful things and wanted us to have these experiences in life and create this world mm -hmm. um, around us. He also wanted to make sure that you didn't ignore the other part yeah, of struggles. life. It's not about ignoring it. It's yeah. just about choosing to make it as magical as yeah. possible. And... Um, yeah, we will see you in the next video. video. Okay. Bye. Bye.